Another major NASCAR silly season domino has fallen as Cal's Girl will join Rick Ware Racing in 2024. What's going on guys, it's Daniel and welcome back to your video. As I just said a second ago, Kaz Grawl has officially announced that he'll be joining Rick Ware Racing in 2024. He tweets, thrilled to join Rick Ware Racing in the number 15 car Ford Mustang for the majority of the NASCAR Cup Series in 2024. I really believe in what Rick Ware Racing is building and appreciate Rick robbing everyone involved for seeing me as a part of the that future as well. First up, the LA Clash. According to reports, he will drive the number 15 car for 25 races in 2024. Now, he will not run in the Daytona 500 in the number 15 car, so I'll be intrigued to see who will be in that car. But his first race will be the Clash, and then he'll run at Atlanta Motor Speedway. This is an amazing and fantastic opportunity for Kaz Grala. Last year, Kaz Grala drove full-time for Sam Hunt Racing. Did solid, in my opinion. Not absolutely amazing by any stretch of imagination, but has some pretty solid performances in the number 26 car. Got a couple top fives. I think got around six or seven top tens in that 26 car. Now, this will be the first time that Kaz Grawl has been in the Cup Series, I believe, since 2022. He's made some select starts in the Cup Series in the past. He drove, of course, the number three car when Austin Dillon was out, unfortunately, for COVID-19. Basically, Austin Dillon stayed out because of that, and he got his opportunity there in the number three car and was able to go ahead and finish in eighth place, I believe, and led in his first race as well in the number three car. On top of that as well, he's made a couple select starts with a money team in the NASCAR Cup Series, and he did okay in those races. Not amazing. I think got a top 25 in the Daytona 500 in 2022. Also made a couple other select starts throughout 2022 and did okay in my opinion. Kaz Grawl is a relatively young driver as well, which is what's really exciting about this is Kaz Grawl is a relatively younger driver. Kaz Grawl is only, I believe, 24 or 25 years old, if I'm not mistaken, so he's not much older than me, so he still has a lot of time to grow and develop. What's crazy, though, is that Kaz Grawl has been in the NASCAR world since 2016 and 2017. I remember back in 2017 when there was a lot of hype around him when he drove for GMS Racing and won at Daytona, which is his first super speed race, if I'm not mistaken, back in 2017. And he got really good opportunities there. Could have won a couple other races. Got taken out by Austin Sindrick, uh, Sindrick, of course. So I am very excited to see that Kaz is getting this amazing opportunity. Now, what are my overall expectations for Kaz Grawl going into this season? I think Kaz Grawl will do overall a pretty good job, in my opinion. I'm not expecting him to do absolutely incredible, but I think he'll do solid in the number 15 car. I think he's going to get quite a few top 30 finishes, and I think throughout the year he'll get some top 20 finishes as well. Now, my big question is, if Kat, they mentioned it's Kaz is not the only guy that's going to be behind the wheel of the number 15 car. So who else could be behind the wheel of this number 15 car? throughout 2024. I would have to imagine that Riley Herbst will be one of the drivers behind the wheel considering the fact that Riley Herbst does drive for Ford and he's really high up on Ford's development group. I would have to imagine that Riley Herbst will be one of the drivers. He brings sponsorship and funding. So I'd imagine he'll be one of the drivers behind the wheel as well. Maybe Matt Benedetto could be another candidate as well. Matt Benedetto has not announced what he's doing yet for 2024. I know he's rumored to be going to college racing this season, but maybe he goes there. I'm not entirely sure. Ryan Newman's name is also mentioned in the conversations as well as someone who could drive the 15 car, but that has not been confirmed at this point. And then you've also got maybe out of nowhere, Haley Deegan makes her Cup Series debut. I don't think that could happen at this point, but you never know how crazy things have been. Maybe she goes there. And also Cole Custer could be another option as well for the number 15 car in 2024. Overall, I'm really excited and intrigued to see how he's going to do this year, Kaz Grala. Again, maybe he gets an occasional top 10, but you look at what Ricker Racing is doing over there in general. They are working to make that program a lot better and a lot faster on a week-by-week -week basis. You look at the strength of that program going this year. They've got Justin Haley joining and driving the number 51 car full-time this year, and they got Chris Lawson working with them in 2024. Chris Lawson had a lot of experience in the truck series, crew achieving for Zane Smith. I believe that this is going to be a really good move for this team going into 2024, bringing Kaz Garland in. Two young drivers, and long-term, this could potentially move both those guys with the tightening of the Rick Ware Racing Alliance at RFK, this could bring both of them eventually in to RFK. We know that RFK has talked about expanding their program. They want to have three full-time cars in the not-so-distance future. So maybe this could be the opportunity that Kaz gets eventually to go over and drive maybe the 6 car or maybe the 17 car once Chris Bush ever leaves. Though Chris Bush, I don't think, is going to be going anywhere anytime soon. Or, of course, driving a third car as well. 
In general, I'm really, really excited about this, and I'm very glad to see that Casgraw is getting the opportunity to finally drive for Rick Ware Racing in 2024. We'll see how he ends up doing, but I'm looking forward to seeing him get the chance and opportunity to drive for this team in 2024. So, that is going to be today's special breaking news report. I want to thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel, notifications on, so if I win a video, it does go live on my channel. Follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, as we're on Patreon as well. Link in the description below that, and comment your thoughts below on today's video. What are thoughts about Kaz Garla joining Rick Ware Racing? Let me your thoughts in the comments below. Later today on the channel, we'll have a NASCAR news video discussing news over the course of the last couple days. Tomorrow, there should be a couple special videos breaking on the channel as well. Friday, there should be a NASCAR news video. And then Saturday and Sunday, we'll have special videos dropping. We'll also have the Xfinity Series and Truck Series line of videos dropping throughout the weeks as well as we get closer to the start of the season. So anyways, like I said, I want to thank you guys for watching today's episode, and I'll see you guys next time for more great, awesome NASCAR content and other motorsports content on the channel like this. Take care, everybody.